Hey everybody, it's Zach. Welcome back to the Heroverse. And guys, I just got done with Stargirl Season 3, Episode 11, called The Hunting. Guys, what an episode. This is the episode Jordan's back. Like, I can't believe that still, that it ended up being Jordan. I was right about the feeling of that, oh, the kind of, I had a feeling that, like, about, oh, it was an icicle, like, you know, uh, Shiv that got the gambler. And I thought it was Cameron, but it turns out, again, it was jo it was Jordan. I, I really was kind of on the right trail with, like, the whole, oh, it must be an icicle. I think, you know what I mean? Like, they don't want us to think that way, but it could be an icicle. So I was kind of on the right trail, but it ends up being Jordan being back. You know, which, you know, we start off this episode where we get one year ago. And, of course, it's the moment where we, we get to see what happens to Jordan after freaking Mike hits him with the car. And we end up finding out that, you know, Jordan's able to kind of like, we find out about, about his abilities that he's able to not just be ice, but when he's able to recongeal himself, you know, when he even like is water, he could just put himself back together and he can become ice. So that was very interesting to see, you know, the, the, like the, 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 like the, when he got shattered by Mike, he, like literally he's all over the street. There's a whole bunch of ice cubes all over the street and it melts and he's able to like put himself back together and he goes down to the sewer which i was like he pulled the splinter from ninja turtles he said oh, i'm going down to the sewer to heal or whatever um which you know it was very interesting because you know we're we're in of course uh everybody is together right now we have uh yolanda we have Sylvester, we have uh, Courtney, Mike, Jakeem. It's pretty much like how we left it last week's episode where everybody's kind of having a, t uh, having a team meeting. I think Barb, I think, yeah, if I'm correct, Barb was there, Mike was there, Jakeem was there, Yolanda was there, uh, Pat was there. Um, also, uh, who else was there? Sylvester was there. I think everybody was there. Um, and, you know, they're talking about, okay, like, you know, so, you know, Courtney's like, this is the moment I, I was talking about, you know, we all need to come together and we need to bring the McKents in here as well. And, and they're like, and she's like, even Cameron after Cameron said, you know, he wanted nothing to do with Courtney because Courtney said that she is the one that killed Jordan and not Mike. She pretty much saved Mike's life in that moment, which I was super happy about. I really thought in a way like Courtney, she just, just because of the way the character has been in the season, I really thought she was going to like give up <laughs> like Mike. I was like, I was really afraid, um, but thank God she didn't, and, you know, she said, I'm the one that killed Jordan, and pretty much made, you know, Cameron never want to see Courtney again, so that's why she said, even Cameron, and then, and then that's when, uh, and that's when Mike's like, oh, even, you know, even, uh, even your, uh, your, uh, your, the, the guy that you like, or whatever, and he said something like that, but, you know, everybody's pretty much saying, like, we, like, Courtney's like, we need to get everybody together, like, how we took down Eclipso, this is the moment where we all need to put aside our differences and all come together, this is the moment that we've all been waiting for, we gotta come together and do this, and, you know, it was very interesting, because at that moment, I was wondering when Artemis would, like, when Artemis would realize that, oh my god, you know, her parents are missing, and it was really sad, because prior to, like, a lead-up to this, you know, to everything, you know, we see, uh, the, uh, you know, uh, you know, was it, uh, Crusher's Gym, not opened, of course, and that's the first time ever, like, you know, we see these two dudes getting ready to work out, and, like, the gym's not open, and I felt, right away, I felt really bad, I was like, great, you know, I was like, I, I can't stand that, I'm still annoyed that the writers did that, I just, I, I still can't process, like, they did that to Artemis, I was just like, god damn, it just, it annoyed me so much, and, you know, to have Artemis come to the door and say, have you, have you, like, have you seen my, my parents, and, you know, we, we pretty much go where Beth, you know, is tracking, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, Sportsmaster's mask, which, you know, as we all know, he had it with him, I'm pretty sure, when he went down to the sewers, so there was a tracking beacon on the mask, and that's when, you know, Artemis, and it was Yolanda, Beth, and Courtney all went down, and they all had their gear, at least I think, you know, Yolanda and Beth did, I'm not sure about Artemis, but, you know, Courtney didn't bring her staff because Sylvester was doing recon, pretty much looking for uh, Ultra Human Knight. Um, so that was very interesting that, you know, Sylvester, like, so I, 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 you know what's crazy to me is that Sylvester has been the one using the staff majority, like, like the entire time. And it's crazy because they set up uh, an agreement saying you can have the staff on this, on, on, on these days or at that time, I can have the staff at this time. It's mainly been Sylvester using the staff. Courtney's kind of just been on her own. And not to say that Courtney's still got mad skills. She doesn't need the staff, really. She's got mad skills when it comes to you using any, 
anything. I mean, we saw that when she was fight, she took the hockey stick from Artemis back in season two. She really just needs a stick and she just goes all in. But, you know, I just, I thought if anything, like, oh, she would need that if, you know, so that before, because Sylvester was there when Artemis and Beth Yolanda and Courtney all went down to the sewer. So I just thought that it would have been smart if he did give you know, Courtney, the staff, but, you know, when you're going to look for someone like the ultra humanite, you know, you're going to, Courtney probably knew, oh, he's got to take that staff, so, you know, you know, they're about to, like, in a way, like, you know, kind of, like, regroup or whatever, or, because they didn't want to, like, go down the hall unless everybody has everything prepared, because they don't know what's at the end of the hall down in the, in the sewer, and, you know, Artemis just runs ahead, and we go into the room, and we see, like, human, like, icy remains of, like, just pure, like, I guess, like, like, we, we see, like, a murder scene, essentially, like, we see her parents, like, but, like, 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 Beth picks up the DNA of, like, oh, like, this is, like, this is, uh, these are corpses right here, even though it's, like, they're, like, splat, they're, like, splattered, and they're kind of, like, ice right now, this, this is, like, uh, w- w- this is, like, human remains, and, of course, you know, Artemis found her father's mask, sports master's mask, and knew right instantly, like, Beth knew that, oh, my God, this, this is Paula, and this is Crusher, like, the, this is, this is your, parents Artemis and that was just really tough to see that and the scream Artemis like releases of just pure anger and and just she's just she doesn't need like she's just upset just so so upset that was really hard to hear and and the in the back out the camera work in them when we were like they back out and they're like and we, and we just like and we're up in the air and we just see the hole to the sewer to where they went down it's like you just see how upset like it, i i really do think they captured that very well it's like a it's at a moment of like like of shock but also like distress and, and anger and ho- like you know what i mean and just you really feel for artemis to have that kind of like it back out of that moment it's like that was artemis pretty much worst nightmare and and how, how could you like like how you know what i mean it's like everything was going so well and to have a moment happen like that where your parents just die and the way artemis looked at her parents is like oh my god they're like unstoppable you know what i mean like you know what i mean how they raised artemis and artemis is like that you know and artemis never quit she's unstoppable unstoppable and she feels like she can never be beaten but to have the moment where like her parents are literally disintegrated on the ground, turned into ice, and there's and there's no remains, other than the like the 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 the, the icy icy uh, ice chip remain of of their bodies, it's kind of like how how do you how do you deal with that? How do you how do you process that? Especially after her giving her parents the great news about her getting into a college. And you know what I mean? It's like and and being like the 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 being the first string quarterback for a college. It's like how do you process that? And I just really felt bad for Artemis in the moment. I was I was really pissed when they killed Crusher and Paula off. I was like I can't believe they just did that. It was such a shock to me that moment. I was like wow they just did that after things were going so well. And you know I I really felt bad. You know my, you know uh, we have Courtney calling Pat. Pat knows Mike is working on something, and then Mike asks Pat like, oh well, what's up? And pretty much you know you know uh, Pat I'm pretty sure calls Paul uh, calls a uh, Barb, and Barb's there, and Barb ends up walking into her work, finding out everybody's like, oh he's back, and finds out that Jordan's back. And right away I was like, Barb, please put the pieces together. Bro just came back, the lead villain of the of the you know the ISA. So the worst of the worst, please put together that he's the one that killed them. Thank God it was icy remains because I was really worried that they weren't going to be like, they weren't going to pick up that those were icy remains. I was really worried like, oh my God, are they not going to know that it was Jordan that did it? But I was like, even if there weren't icy remains, I was hoping that, okay, Jordan's back. I hope they would put two and two together. That he is, he would do that. He would want to get revenge on, of course, Crusher and Paula. He would want to get revenge for what happens. He would definitely want to do that, especially see how he sees that they've changed and they've kind of like, you know, they kind of went off of his task of what his mission that he set out for the ISA was that they, he kind of like saw it was spying on them all in season two and kind of saw them, you know, kind of reform. And you, you could tell that probably made him pissed. So the fact of it is, is that I was like, please put two and two together. And I'm really happy that Barb didn't fall like didn't believe the bullshit that Jordan was saying, like, oh, I just, like, I want to be good, like, you know what I mean, I want to forget what happened, I want to put all that in the past, I just want to live, you know, and have, and and just live with Cameron and my parents and just live a happy life, and, and, you know, I know that you guys need, need to, I, I know you guys need help taking out Ultra Humanite, you know, 
he was against the Injustice Society, but he was also against the JSA, and I know you guys could use some help. I, I know that Courtney you know, is trying to, you know, bring everybody together, and I want to, I want to be a part of that, and I'm like, bullshit, bro, thank God Barb is not buying your shit, because she said you're pure evil, bro, there's no way, you're pure evil, you're not just gonna say, oh, I want to reform, after, and you know what I mean, you come back, and Crusher and Paula are dead, you killed them, and he, and he tries to say, oh, it was self-defense, I'm like, thank God Barb knows this dude, if anybody knows this dude, out of all of season two, or all of season one, it was Barb, Barb got the closest to the dude, and kind of knew that he was bad, like, really, really bad, I mean, uh, yeah, Pat knew too, but, like, Barb, like, was not, was not, like, I feel like, in a way, actually, I don't even know, she kind of, like, she was kind of, like, I, who am I kidding, she probably, she didn't really know half the time, until Pat and everybody said, oh, he was bad, and stuff like that, but she knows of anything more than anything now, he is, he, he's bad, and she's not gonna fall for it, same as how kind of like, you know, I was really upset at Pat this episode, I was like, Pat was kind of like, in a way, trying to make it sound like, oh, we don't know if, like, oh, we don't, like, oh, we don't, like, know if it wasn't self-defense, and, and blah, 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 and kind of trying to make it sound like, oh, like, he wouldn't have done that on purpose, and he could be telling the truth, and kind of Courtney was on the same path of, like, because Cameron went to go talk to Courtney after, you know, Jordan, you know, re showed up at his at, at his house and you know talked to his parents and talked to Cameron and Cameron thank God I was actually on Cameron's side for for a minute when Cameron said why didn't you come back here where have you been this, all this time and when you know he was trying to explain like oh like I didn't know you know I could you know put myself back together and I kind of just you know I was a, I had like a blank slate I had to relearn everything and I had like the, I had like dreams of you guys and I kind of like that's how that's why I'm here and I found out my powers gr grew stronger to when you know I died I learned more about my abilities and saying like, oh, you know, you know, Courtney made me learn from my mistakes, you know, I let anger get the best of me, and blah, 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 and, and just started saying a whole bunch of different shit, and I'm so glad, because Cameron's like, I don't know if, like, I, like, or, like, he's like, I I've changed, or whatever, and then Cameron said something, that was like, oh, I don't, or like, oh, like, you know, you know me, or Cameron, you know me, you know, I wouldn't, you know, you know, I, I took the wrong path, but now I know that, you know, Courtney, and, and everybody else wants the same thing I want now, and, you know, I mean, you know me, Cameron, you know, I'm telling, like, you know, you know me, and then Cameron's like, I thought I did, and I was like, good, thank God you're really not just, just, like, m putting aside what Courtney was saying, saying your father was bad, he hurt people, I'm kind of happy that it was kind of like, I thought I knew you, but really, I didn't, and kind of, like, listening to the way that Courtney wouldn't just lie about shit, and I'm really happy when, like, the moment where, like, Courtney, like, said that, you know, she, she killed you, and he's like, you know, you know, Jordan's like, well, Courtney didn't kill me, it was actually her little brother, Mike, that, that killed me, and then Jordan's like, why, why would she lie, and then, and then, you know, or that, or Cameron's like, oh, why would she lie, and then Jordan's like, to protect him, which, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not angry at him, or whatever, I'm putting that all in the past, which I was like, you know, I, I was really happy that he told the truth right there, because it would have been like, he could have twisted anything, and made it sound like, oh, you know, I'd like, he could have twisted anything to make it sound like, oh, but we should go after Mike, you know, I do want revenge, he could have been like that, which at the end of the day, he is going to get revenge, but like, he's trying to, but he could have totally have lied or something, or tried to manipulate what Courtney said about like, oh, whatever, like, just to, to make him hate Courtney and stuff, but he did the complete opposite of that, where like, he actually wants Cameron and Courtney, and kind of like, wants them to be together, and, and like, and is in full support of them being together, and he's like, really hopped up on like, like, oh, Courtney's, like, taught me to, you know, you know, she, she made me learn, I mean, she, she gave me hope, or whatever, and she, she made me rethink how I was, because she made it all, everybody, you know, reform and stuff, which, like, I, what, what's the deal here, I felt like, I was like, you're really obsessed with Courtney right now, and I'm wondering, what, what do you know, I was a little concerned, I'm like, what do you know, I'm like, he's very weak right now, whether he wants to say he's stronger, no, you're not, dude, you, you had to, you kept holding your chest every five minutes, like, there's, and your, and your powers are kind of iffy right now, so what is it exactly that you want, why you want Courtney, and you want Cameron to be together, it's something weird there, I think he just wants to, maybe, he knows he can't, he isn't gonna live long, because there is something wrong with his abilities, I feel like maybe he wants to get Courtney and Cameron together, maybe to, so he can put them both on that journey, to, to do his mission, maybe, I don't know, I feel like in a way, that's what he's trying to do, maybe he wants his son to take over his work, kind of like how the grandparents, or at least the grandmother wanted Cameron to, like, to follow in, in his foot, in his father's footsteps, I feel like, you know, uh, Jordan wants the same thing for his son, and wants Courtney to, like, 
believe in his vision and the only way they do that is really u- by using Cameron and stuff like that to 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 make her believe in his vision um and make it and maybe make it feel like it's Cameron's vision that you know when that, that Jordan passed down to Cameron and, and make Courtney believe in that vision through it since it's coming for, through Cameron because I love the moment where like Courtney asked Cameron like oh did your father send you here because she's like, you know, she's not buying the bullshit where it's like, it's not a coincidence that he shows up and they die. And even, even, even Cameron's like, oh, my father said it was self-defense and I believe him and blah, 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 blah. It's like, I'm just, I was so glad that kind of Courtney was like, I, I don't, I, like he's done so much, so many bad things. I'm not just going to let that slide. And then Cameron brings up, well, you know, the Crocs and everybody else did bad things. Like, why do you let, why'd you let that slide? Why'd you forgive them? Ha uh, Eclipso. She could have just said Eclipso. He, where was he? Bro was trying to re regenerate down in a sewer. Like that's what he was trying to do. He he like or hell he could have been put together by then. Who knows? All I know is that you know they they proved that they're that they have changed. They've done so many things proving that they have changed. The Crocs and also you know how the gambler didn't get the opportunity to show that he changed, but he did. It's like, you know, it's like, bro just doesn't get a pass just because. He can't play that card, you know what I mean? Like, oh, well, you know, I, I, don't, I haven't gotten a chance to show that I've changed, but I'm sorry, you don't after, again, you've been the worst of the worst, and you've done the, you've done the most worst shit, and you set everybody on the path of recruiting the injustice as I need to go on your stupid power trip of your vision. It's like, no, you're the worst of the worst, dude. You don't get, like, you, you don't just get, like, oh, a pass oh like oh you could have your normal life without having consequences to what you did not only to sylvester but also to the jsa and you know i was really happy where you know you know because you know cameron says oh just think about it or whatever you know what i mean of i was like don't you want us to just you know put all everything like put everything behind us and just you know and 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 have our you know relationship like we can get we can be together and we can have our relationship and stuff like that and we can leave all everything in the past like you wanted initially Courtney about how all the villains put everything everything in the past and they kind of like reformed Cameron just wants Courtney to just be like okay you know even though my father showed nothing that he's changed like he just wants you to accept that he's reforming now and, and put everything in the past it's like no bro that's not how it works but you know I really did love how you know the, the moment where, like, when Sylvester finds out <laughs> through Courtney saying that Icicle's back, Jordan's back, Sylvester was so pissed. Bro literally did, had so much energy going through that cosmic stab, and he, like, blew up the barn looking af- looking for the Ultra Humanite. So that moment where, like, he says the Pat, like, he's flipping out in the, in, in the basement right now. He's, like, throwing shit, and he said, he said, Pat... The, the, I need everybody to get on board with this. The first chance I get, I'm taking out Icicle. Like, that's the first chance I get. He killed me. He put me in the ground, Pat. And he also killed my friends and my family. He's not joking around. He's like, this is the dude that put me in the ground. And then so Pat's like, well, you know, yeah, I put, don't forget, I'm the one that put you. I'm the one that had to bury you. And I don't want to do that again, Sylvester. But it's like, no. It's like everybody should be backing Sylvester to take out Icicle, to take out Jordan. Why is everybody rethinking this? I was like, Right away, Courtney, in a way, was kind of like, uh-uh, there's not a coincidence he came back, let's go do this, but she's so focused on, like, Cameron still, and kind of blindsided by that, by that, and I do think that probably Jordan did send Cameron over there, if not, Cameron knew going over there would kind of, like, maybe if anybody could, like, accept what Jordan wants about putting everything in the past, it's him asking Courtney, can we put everything in the past, so it's like, I, I, I didn't expect that where kind of Courtney, in a way, was kind of like, not going to be backing this idea. I kind of knew that. I was like, when Cameron showed up and kissed her and said, think about it, I knew right away. I was like, okay, you, one moment you went to, oh, it must be him. Let's take him down to, oh, let's think about it. Oh, to like, okay, whatever. But, you know, we did get a moment where like, you know, after he does leave, there is a moment between Courtney and Jordan and she's like, oh, I'm going to take you down. And he's like, oh, I want you guys to, I want you and, you know, Cameron, you know, you're special to Cameron. And if you're, and if Cameron thinks you're special, then, you know, I, you know, I, I think you're special to Courtney. And, and you know what I mean? And if, if, you know, if Cameron wants to be with you, I, I want you to be with him too and stuff like that. And, oh, I want to leave everything in the past and all that crap. But Courtney's not buying it to the point of like, I'm still kind of upset that everybody's not for taking out Jordan. Like, do we all forget all the shit he did and what he's caused? It's like, what are we doing here? I think the only one that would probably be on, on, on Sylvester's side about taking out Jordan is probably Barb and also Mike and Jakeem and Cindy and Yolanda and Rick, they would, and Beth would all probably be for it, you know, kind of, you know, 
Courtney and also Pat are kind of in the air where they're like, we don't know if that's what we want to do. And, you know, the the moment where like, you know, they're talking on the porch, Sylvester and Pat, and, 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 and they're waiting for Courtney to come back after meeting Jordan. And, you know, Pat's like, you know, Sylvester's like, I need Courtney to be on board with this. I, I need her. I need her to do that. He wants Courtney's kind of like blessing because she is Stargirl. She has the staff. It's hers, technically. Even though, again, Courtney said like, oh, we're sharing the staff. It technically is still hers. I mean, you know, he did, it did choose her. It is technically hers, but at the end of the day, it is his. He got it first. It, 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 and the only reason it got, it went to Courtney is because he was dead. And the staff did chose her, but at the end of the day, it is still, we know the staff goes back to its, like, his, like the, the, the original owner, like, we know Cosmo just goes back to Sylvester a lot without any train of thought of, like, oh, I'm going to stay with you, Courtney. I'm going to go back there. The, the staff has been doing that a lot lately. And also, if I'm being honest, like, Courtney not focusing up and been so focusing on Cameron, we didn't even think from the staff's perspective of who the staff wants to be with right now. Who the, st- who the like, because like, let's be real, the staff is a, is a living being, essentially. From what we've kind of seen, it kind of has its own its own thoughts. Cosmo has his own thoughts and it probably has its own feelings as we can see also. So it's kind of like, you know, someone that Courtney's kind of been neglecting her star girl half and kind of been focusing up on, you know, wanting to be with Cameron. It's kind of like, you know, I can't help to think that Cosmo kind of feels like, you know, kind of like left behind and, you know, and the original owner is the only one that really is thinking straight about wanting to, protect the world right now in a way if that makes any sense so of course this the staff would go with one the person that wants to focus up and and wants to take down the baddies and stuff like that you know what i mean it's like of course and also go back to its original owner as of right now that's why you know when we see in the promo which i'll play right here you need our help i don't want your help we need the staff i'm not giving it to you staff belongs to me. That's why we see, you know, Cosmo go right back to Sylvester when Sylvester's like, it's not your, it's not your staff or whatever. That's really the moment ever, like the first time ever Sylvester said, it's not your staff. And we've kind of been wondering that question where it's like, yeah, he said it was hers, but Courtney could tell like, oh, you know, he he doesn't know who he is without the staff. And then the moment like this, he's like, no, who am I kidding? Why am I asking you if I can have the staff and if I can go do this? I'm Starman. I'm taking my staff back. That's why he's doing that at that at that time is because he's kind of like, I he's upset because he's like, if anybody also, we need to understand that like, yes, Courtney might want to think this through. But again, at the end of the day, and Pat might want to think this through, which again, I, I don't know why Pat isn't with Sylvester on this one, because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, Pat's family died too that day. Not what, you know what I mean? Like his friends died that day, his JSA friends, along with Sylvester's family and friends died that day. So it's like, in a way, I'm shocked that Pat's not with him on this. And also I can't blame that again. In a way, Courtney doesn't want to back him up on this, even though Courtney knows but in a way, it's like everybody should be backing. Like the, one, the really one, the one that should be backing him on this is Selva, is Pat. Because let's be real. I mean, like, but then again, also Courtney won't understand because Courtney didn't want die by the by the hands of Jordan, and then also have her friends killed by the hands of Jordan. You know what I mean? Like how how Sylvester had his friends die at the hands of Jordan, and also the rest of the Injustice Society. Again. It's like, no, this is the worst of the worst, dude. And it's like, I really, he really wanted Courtney to back him up on this saying like, I helped you. I've been there for you, Courtney, uh, Courtney, I backed you up and, and thinking that villains could change, but I need you to back me up on this. And I need you to let me do this and, and be with me on this to take out Jordan. And it's, you know I mean? You know, Pat doesn't want Sylvester to have that conversation with Courtney saying like, Courtney doesn't need to like, you, Courtney does not need to back you up, back you on this. She just doesn't. And it's like, in a way he thinks that no she does because it's kind of like in a way he might like him and Courtney he wants to believe that him and Courtney are very similar and how like they will take down the villains no no matter like what they and no matter like what it is like they'll do it at, at all costs he wants to believe that I think in that moment when he takes back the staff he's like we're not the same I in a way he probably is thinking I don't know why 
the staff chose you. I mean, he might be thinking those things. Like, we got to think in his perspective of, like, this person killed him. This person killed his family. And no one's backing him up on this. And everybody's encountered Jordan, but no one's no one's encountered Jordan to the extent of losing loved ones to the hands of Jordan. You know what I mean? And and also being killed at the hands of Jordan. Like it is also for like it is for Sylvester. So you kind of understand like he's going through it at this moment. Um but the craziest thing about this episode is like, you know, we we do get to see uh us uh you know uh cindy come back in this episode and cindy actually you know we see jakeem and we see mike um they're at jakeem's house and jakeem and mike are trying to figure out like a like a spell a wish to get rid of jordan's abilities and then like the thunderbolt's like i can't do this because if i take away his abilities i'll be killing jordan that's what that's what makes him live and then it's funny because jakeem's like um, we can't take away his powers because he'll die. Mike, what did you do? And then he's like, oh, I just, I hit him with the truck and I turned him into slush. You know what I mean? And I, I saved everybody. And then it was funny because, you know, we see Cindy walk in and Cindy right away is like, I want to team up. And the moment where like Jakeem runs over to Cindy is like, oh my God, welcome to the, the super, super all-stars, um, or superhero all-stars. I forget. I think it's the super all-stars or superhero all-star or all-stars. And it was just super funny because, you know, you know, she's like, we need to rethink that name, and it's funny because also Jakeem's like, she's sitting on my bed, and then we just, it, it's the funniest look that Cindy has, like, oh god, like, <laughs> like, I can't believe I'm here, I just, would, would you, that's the best line that this season has had, where it, where Jakeem said, she's sitting on my bed, I felt that, I was like, bro, I, I feel you, <laughs> like, I feel you, like, coming from a nerdy person, uh, you know what I mean? Like, think about it. like Jakeem and Mike are nerds, and th- and never in their wildest dreams they would think that Cindy Berman, the most popular, hottest girl in school, would be sit would be one in Jakeem's house, but also sitting on his bed. How any girl sitting on his bed that happens to be, you know, Cindy. So I thought I was like, I, I feel you, bro. I was like, I would. Be- I said to my sister, I was like, I don't, I don't blame, <laughs> I don't blame Jakeem in that moment. I'd feel the same way too. I was like, shit. <laughs> So I was like, I did like, I did, th- I did think that was really funny. And it just makes me super happy that, you know, at the end of the day, Cindy came around and realized that, oh, they came looking for her and they wanted to back her up and they wanted to help her. So it's a, I, I was really happy. I was like, I'm really happy for Cindy. I'm really happy for Mike and Jakeem. Also, they, they have a new member, a part of their team. Um, but at the end of the day, it still makes me upset because it's like we're, we're doing so many great things with this show, but it's ending and it just upsets me so much. You know what I mean? It's ending. And us seeing in the promo, it said like we only have one episode left before the finale and it's literally November 3rd, 30th is the next episode. And then after that is the finale episode on December 7th. That's just very upsetting to me that it's like the, we only have two episodes left. And I really thought we had more. So I'm really upset. I'm really upset. I I, I'm re- I'm, I, I know that, you know, I'm, I'm just happy that we're getting it. And we at least get to finish the season. But I'm like, I'm just so upset, though. It's like, the CW really is like, MW, and WB and DC, whatever, are really folding. Getting rid of the, getting rid of Stargirl. When it should just be moved to HBO Max. It's not fair at the end of the day. It's really not. Because we have a show like Titans going on, and that show's god awful garbage, and they're getting rid of this show, and for what? It's like other CW shows have moved to HBO Max. It's like why can't we just move it? I don't understand, especially because it upsets me too. Because you know they set up Mr. Bones kind of like making a superhero group of, of you know team of for of him like for himself, and we're never gonna see that. We're never gonna see what he's trying to do. And that kind of annoys me. Um, also, well, you know what I mean? It's like, I'm wondering how are they going to end this? I, a part of me feels like what's going to happen is, is that going back to what uh, Cameron said earlier to like, to uh, Courtney, I think it was in last week's episode when, you know, when Cameron said, who killed my father, Courtney and, and said like, oh, why didn't you guys just, you know, try to, instead of killing him, try to just, you know you know, like, did you have to kill him to stop him? Like, why don't you just try doing something else? I feel like Cameron's going to realize because Jordan's finding out some more about more, some more about his abilities. I think Cameron's going to figure out, oh my God, I can actually take away my father's powers without killing him. 
you know what I mean? And maybe that's how we can stop him. I feel like maybe they, they would do something like that. I'm not saying that's what will happen, but that's just a possibility where it's like, we don't see Jordan die, but like we see Cameron take away his father's abilities. I could see that happening. Who knows if that's what's going to happen, but if anything, I could see Cameron doing, if, if, if they aren't going to like, Cameron's not going to take his father's powers away and he doesn't figure that out. Again, that's just a theory I have. I could see it where it's like he realizes that he he realizes that what Courtney was right saying was true. Like my father, there was no other way to stop my father. He needs to be killed. So I could see Cameron doing the final blow to his father and killing him and be like, I, I'm sorry, but like this is what needs to be done because you are who Courtney and, and, and everybody else was saying that you are. You're a monster and you and th- this is what needs to happen to stop you. So I could see that happening too, honestly, uh, either or. Um because I don't know. I mean, Sylvester is definitely not playing. I think he's going to go after Jordan in the next episode. I definitely think so. I don't think it's going to be that. But then again, you never know. They might build up to that where it's like Sylvester goes after Jordan and everybody goes after Sylvester to stop him from going after Jordan. I could see some shit like happening like that too. But I feel like they're not going to do that. I feel him, see him going after Jordan in the next episode. Maybe they end that episode there. And then that's when we see the we see the the aftermath of like, you know, well, well he's going to go out, like, we, we see him going after Jordan in the last finale episode, and that's when, you know, we see everybody else coming together, kind of trying to stop Sylvester in that moment, but realizing that actually Jordan, this was all a part of Jordan's plan, because we end up seeing at the end of this episode, he's working with Ultra Humanite, and I, I said right away to my sister, I'm like, we knew this, I said, I said, this isn't even a, I said, this isn't even a surprise, we knew somehow that, you know, either A, Ultra Humanite brought him back to life, or, you know, we, we or I was thinking Jordan, they got Ultra Humanite to, to be a part of his plan to take out, like, everybody in Blue Valley, I was like, this is not a surprise, I kind of, like, theor- I kind of, like, said that in my, la- in last week's episode, saying that I see either A, Ultra Humanite brought Jordan back to life, or Jordan got Ultra Humanite to work with him, and they're going to try to take out people in Blue Valley, and that's exactly what happened, I'm not sure, again, if, why Ultra Humanite wants to, like, team up with Jordan, because apparently, from my understanding, he doesn't, like, Ultra Humanite does not like the Injustice Society either, so it's like, I, I, but then, I, but then again, it might be, like, it's a common ground where it's, like, they both don't like the JSA, hence, like, Ultra Humanite being the JSA's first villain that they fought, so it's, like, he might really have a strong hate for the JSA, and that's why he's, and also, along with Jordan winning revenge, that's why they're working together to take out the JSA, I could see that too, where it's like, you know, they found common ground. That's why Ultra Human Knight is willing to work with Jordan to take out the JSA. I see that it's just, it's simple as that, that they both have a common ground and then when they take out their, their, the, 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 the people that they hate, I could just see that. Um, but also, you know, Yolanda, like trying to tell her mom about who, like, you know, like what happened to, you know, you know, uh, you know, what was it? Uh, Artemis's mother, Artemis's parents. It's like that really sparked you know, you know, uh, Yolanda to want to go call her mom and pretty much probably like, you know, make up with her mother and also tell her mother who she is about being wildcat. But I was saying to myself, saying to myself when that scene was playing, I was like, don't tell your parents your secret identity. Like that's a terrible idea, a terrible idea. I was like, people, I was like, I just, I, I hate that everybody in the show is just going around telling everybody who they are. It's like, come on now. It's like, you do not know superhero 101. I'm like, Sylvester even tried telling Beth you, you got to keep your family out of your, your work. But I mean, some people could just say that, oh, that, that was the way things used to be. This is a new era of heroes. And maybe like, you don't have to like keep your, 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 uh, superhero, like, you know, uh, identity, you know what I mean? And who you are secret from your, your family. You don't have to keep that away from your family, but I still go by like hero roles where it's like, you don't tell like, your loved ones who, who, like, who you are because it puts them in danger. So it's kind of like, I'm not for them. Just everybody telling their, their family members like, that they're superheroes. I, I just, I still don't like that. Um, but honestly though, I don't know. I mean, it's just very interesting to me to see what they do. Um, because I don't know how this could end either way where it's like Jordan dies at the hands of, you know, at the hands of Sylvester, Jordan dies at the hands of Cameron. Um, I I really don't know what's going to happen. I I really, really don't. Um, because again, we only have two episodes left and it's like, what can happen in those two episodes? Because I can totally see where it's like, you know, we see Sylvester go after Jordan, Cameron ends, uh, Cameron ends up killing Sylvester or something, 
and then finds out the hard way that, oh my god, I did the wrong thing, my dad was actually, like, this was all part of his plan, he, he actually is a monster, I shouldn't have done that, I could see that happening, it's like, anything can really happen going forward, and I don't know what they're going to do, um, but it was just a really good episode, I really enjoyed this episode, um, I'm just wondering what's going to happen going forward because I can't believe we only have two episodes left. It's very hard to believe we only have two episodes left to start, girl. And it's very, it's upsetting. Like I said, I just, it's very upsetting. It bums me out because like the CW, you know, and also, you know, WB and are really fucking up and making a mistake. I, d- I definitely think this is a terrible idea to just get rid of this show. When it has such a big, when I don't even say like a really big fan base because I still there's still people that don't even know about the show, but you know it has a really loyal fan base. You know, we, we, you know we 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 come watching it every every uh, Wednesday, and we always give it great feedback. And it's like they're still gonna get rid of the show. It's like that just doesn't make any sense to me at all. I I, I just don't get it. It's like instead of just throwing away the show, put it on HBO Max. You clearly. We clearly still love the show. Why would you just get rid of something? Um, but honestly, guys, I'm really curious to know, like, what do you think is going to happen in the next two episodes? Also, like, what do you think? Do you think, like, Artemis is going to be in on Sylvester's plan, maybe wanting to go kill Jordan? I could see Artemis wanting to go kill Jordan, too. Maybe, like, Artemis helps Sylvester go do that along with everybody else. And the only ones that really aren't a part of it, like a part of doing that is maybe like, is, uh, is, uh, Courtney and, uh, and, uh, and Pat. But honestly, I feel like everybody's really on board to taking out, you know, Jordan, except kind of Courtney's up in the air and Pat's up in the air. I feel like everybody else is kind of like, let's do this. <laughs> and would be all for it. If they, if, you know, they all came, um, if, 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 if uh, you know, Courtney and Pat, or if Sylvester came to everybody else except Courtney and Pat, everybody would be like, like would be on board. Um, but I, I just it's weird that Pat's not on board because I really thought if anybody would be on board, it would be him too. And one and like because he knows what Sylvester has been through, how he's been through that with Sylvester. He had to bury Sylvester, and also he had to see his friends die at the hands of Jordan and also the other ISA members. It's like he should know more than any more than anything. And he should be agreeing more than anybody else with Sylvester that Jordan's got to go. Um, but yeah, I really felt bad also that Artemis kind of like went back home by herself. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, Courtney and Beth were there when they when they were with, you know, so, so was Yolanda when, they, when Artemis found her parents' remains. And none of them said, oh, you can go stay with me. I'm shocked that she just, like, they didn't say anything and let Artemis, Artemis go back home to an empty house and let her just have a, a breakdown of just sadness that her family is gone. I was really disappointed. I said, what the fuck? I said, I said, Courtney? Beth, really? Like, are you kidding me? You guys are right there. Why didn't you guys say, oh, you know, you know Artemis, you can you come come be, live with us. You don't, you, I, we don't want you to go back home. I mean, we don't want you to go back there, you know, come, you're, you always, you're always welcome here, something like that, I mean, that ended up happening, like, Barb ended up saying, you'll come over to our place, and you can't stay here, which I was like, okay, good, finally, you know, someone did it, but if anything, I was really annoyed that Beth and Courtney didn't do it, they were right there, I was like, wow, I was like, that wasn't even the first thing that came to mind, it's like, oh, we, we, you shouldn't be going home by yourself, you should come over, and you, and we don't want you alone, I was just like, wow, (laughs) so it was kind of funny to me that no one just, no one thought about that, I was like, I was just so happy that, you know, Barb, you know, coming in there, you know, just, that was great, also, it was like, also, really, there was something really, like, like, heartwarming about it, too, it's like, because we know Barb and, 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 uh, Paula were really, like, became really close friends, and it's kind of like, in a way, I could see, you know, Paula being, very and also Crusher being very happy that if their kids is going to be with any family, it's it's with Courtney, Pat, Mike, and also Barb. Um, I feel like you know he they wouldn't have it any any other way. So it's like I I'm I'm happy. I, I really hope that they end it where like you know, you know you know the kind of like Artemis ends up staying with Courtney and all them. You know what I mean? And and has a place to always be when when you know whether when she comes back from like college and stuff like that, I kind of hope we just, that's how it is. I hope because it's like, you know what I mean? I, I feel like they wouldn't want it any other way, you know, Paula and Crusher. I just so annoys me that they're gone. Fuck. 
Um, but yeah, guys, again, that was a video, uh, for Stargirl season three, episode 11. Um, again, I really want to know what you guys thought about this episode. What do you guys think is going to happen in the next two episodes? Um, I want to know, are, are you, do you guys agree with me? Should Stargirl get moved to HBO Max? Are you guys asking the same question? Like, why isn't it getting moved to HBO Max? A lot of other CW shows have. And like, like what, what what's what's going on? Like, I just feel like there's so much more the show could do. It's only on season three. It's it's only on season three, and there's so much stuff they could be doing. You know what I mean? It just it bums me out. But guys, yet again here, if you are new to the channel, subscribe to the channel, put in those notifications, like this video. I'd love to have you guys here, part of the fam, part of the channel. We're all about spreading love, positivity, and motivation. And yet again, guys, we are almost to 600 subscribers right now. I'm at five. 172 or 73 i know i'm really close to 600 subscribers so i really yet again appreciate it if you guys subscribe to the channel put in those notifications and like this video um also guys it is like 11 29 um i'm super tired that's probably why i'm kind of like you know i sound a little bit tired um i had a lot of en energy in the kind of the be beginning of the video but kind of like as i'm getting to like the end of the video also i'm a little bit sick too i have a little bit of a cold um so it's kind of like, you know, I'm running on, you know, me being tired. Also, you know, the, the cold's making me a little bit tired. And also I'm doing it late because I was watching Mason earlier today, my little brother Mason, um, because my, my, my mom and dad had a, uh, foster parents training that they had to do, um, because we have two foster kids in the house right now. Um, so it's kind of like, you know, I'm just really like beat. That's why uh, me watching Star Girl, Star Girl got moved to like me starting at like, it was like like at 10 o'clock i started watching it i think star girl and i didn't get done until 11 that's when i'm doing this review like as as i said so yeah you know i mean that's why i'm a little bit, that's why i kind of like everything kind of got moved today and that's why i'm a little bit tired because i'm getting towards the end of the night and but you know yeah but i'm just so glad i was able to get this for you guys um but yeah uh that was a video i hope everybody has a great day a safe day and i'll see you guys next time peace